This is an object of power. We can use it to move the camera in any game just by moving the controller. I know, this is incredible and fascinating. Though, we don't know how this object acquired this power. So here how this works, just in case you might need it. Using Steam, I can use the motion sensors present in any modern controller to emulate a mouse and use my wrist to aim in conjunction with the analog stick. This is called gyro aim. And since gyro works just like a mouse, we don't need any kind of assistance. We can go even further by changing the behavior of the analog stick. Instead of constantly moving the camera in one direction with the analog stick, I can just snap to the angle that I pointed. This is called flick stick. Just keep in mind that this won't work without gyro because there is no way to look up or down without it. Also, I can aim without the need for strafing to align my shots, and I can do multiple actions at once without letting go of my aim to do other actions. And above all, it's super fun. But Control isn't the fastest game ever, so you may want to just stand still for a while to watch a company presentation, for example. But Gyro is very sensitive, so just stopping used to be a problem. But now with the new Gyro to mouse mode, you can just rest your hands and your aim won't move an inch. Pretty cool, huh? Take a look! If you want to try this for yourself, you need to get access to the new Gyro to Mouse mode, that is currently only available on beta updates. But in the near future, you won't have to do this part, so for now, to activate Steam beta updates, you go to Steam, Settings, Interface, and select the Steam beta updates. Now, you just need to enter the game, press the home button, go to controller settings, and import my layout by going to the community tab. Now, in-game, set your sensitivity to 3 and 7 while ADSing. In case you want to keep your preferred sensitivity, I recommend you to watch this video to find out how to do that. In all of my configurations, you can hold R3 to reposition your controller. The gyro sensitivity follows the natural sensitivity scale. That means that one full rotation in real life equals to one full rotation in-game. My configuration is set to 1 to 4, meaning that one full rotation in real life equals to 4 rotations in-game. If this is your first time playing with Gyro, I recommend decreasing to 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 sensitivity. If you don't want to use Flick Stick, you can just change the right stick from Flick Stick to Joystick Mouse. Just don't forget to set the R3 button if you haven't already. If you're playing on Steam Deck, you need to make a simple adjustment to my config. Just go to Gyro to Mouse Mode and change the Gyro orientation from player space to local space. Every time you press Start or Select or the trackpad, you will activate the menu action set, meaning the Gyro will be disabled until you go back to the game and walk forward. So make sure to not use the left analog stick in menus. Some puzzles won't work with this configuration, so you will need to press the Share button to change to the menu action set. Just don't forget that using the analog stick will kick you back to the gyro mode. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have mixed inputs, meaning the controller and mouse inputs won't work at the same time. That means that this configuration completely emulates keyboard and mouse. Because of that, you can't really walk, because your analog stick is sending WASD inputs. But I played the whole game like this, and it was just fine. Other than that, the icons will appear as keyboard keys instead of the controller keys. But this game is very intuitive, and you can always check the configuration until you get used to it. For example, the D-pad and trackpad left are the N key, and the D-pad and trackpad right are the G key. That way you can easily accept side missions and go into menus. And that's about it. If you have any questions, please send a comment. And for more motion control games, just like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.